On a canoe trip, Patan paddled upstream a distance of 10 kilometers. On the return trip downstream, the average speed of the canoe was 5 kilometers per hour, greater than its speed upstream. Write, then simplify an expression for Patan's total paddling time in terms of average speed upstream. Huh. So first of all, we need to know the relationship between time, distance, and speed. And I find that this formula is easiest to remember if you can just tell me a speed that a car goes. Say 45 degrees. <laughs> okay. A car can go 100 kilometers per hour, right? So your formula, speed is equal to something over something. Kilometers per hour, kilometers is a distance, per hour is time. So we've got speed is distance over time. You can then take this formula and rearrange it. You could say get distance by itself by multiplying both, both sides of that equation by time. You could get time by itself by dividing both sides by speed. We want to find Patan's total time in terms of the average speed upstream. So what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal the average speed upstream. How long does it take him to travel upstream? No, because it's so easy to, to create. So if you can say a speed, if you can say 10 kilometers per hour, you can write speed is a distance over a time, and you're fine. If you can only say speeds in term of, terms of degrees, you might be in trouble. <laughs> okay? So let x equal the average stream speed upstream, we have two times. He travels upstream, he travels downstream. So I'm going to say time number one is going upstream. Time is distance divided by the speed. How far did he go upstream? Ten kilometers. What was his speed? x. Now he's coming time 2. We have to come back downstream. It's the same distance, right? It's still 10. How fast is he going when he's going downstream? Okay, what does it say? 5 kilometers per hour greater. x plus 5. We need to write an expression for the total time. The total time equals would be the first one plus the second one. If we wanted to simplify this, we would need to add these and get a common denominator so our total time will be common denominator of x and x plus 5 here I would have 10x plus another 10x which would be 20x 10 times 5 plus 50 good so a little bit, this formula is going to come up a fair bit, especially when we get to 7.6, when we're solving word problems with distance, time, and speed. Okay. Right now, we're just working with expressions. You can try question number 11 for practice. <laughs> 